Oh, um, so the biggest problem is the user is holding the robot, so it makes it very difficult to plan ahead. So in like a normal robot, it can control where it is, but here the user is essentially the boss of the robot, and the robot's an assistant. Uh, and in order for it to work well, the robot has to cooperate with the user. So if the robot wants to do something else, and the, the user wants to do another thing, and there's a conflict, that creates a lot of problems. So I guess the most important area that we want to be researching is how to gauge the intention of the user so that it's truly cooperative and there isn't any conflict. So that's, that's really the hard thing. Can you describe the robot? Uh, so we, I built a robot because it has to be, we, we couldn't really find anything existing that met the requirements. So we needed something that was lightweight so you can hold it. And it also has to be very fast because if the robot's slower than the human, it can't, it's not really, it can't cooperate. It's just lagging behind and getting in the way. So I built a four degree of freedom arm. Uh, it's like carbon fiber backbone with pulling strings, well, cables, uh, that it's very lightweight, it's fast, um, and that allowed us to, it was, it was actually faster than the human. So it could um, do things that you wouldn't be able to do normally.